Hi guys, so uh, right here I'm on a little tributary, um, and right here is the Missouri River, right off the tributary, and uh, where I like to fish is right where the uh, this little tributary dumps into the Missouri River. So there's kind of like some slack water that meets the really currented water, and right at that line is perfect, and that's where a lot of the big fish hang out, because a lot of food, there's kind of like a little whirlpool going, a lot of food gets stuck in there and uh, food from floating down the Missouri and floating down this little tributary all congregates here and that's where a lot of the fish go. But uh, another good place to fish is you can see some little wing dites here. I'll see if I can zoom in on them. You can see one over here and it kind of juts out into the river. A lot of times if you have a bigger boat that can go on the Missouri, if you fish the very tip of the wing dike, that can be really good fishing. So go in the slack water and fish maybe 10 feet back off the wing dike on the tip facing out in the water. Go over here and show you another wing dike. There's another one. And one even farther down there. And they're just kind of like rock barriers that uh, were placed to kind of control the river. But they uh, provide excellent habitat for catfish and other fish as they block the current. So a lot of times they'll hang out again at the very tip of the wing dites because what happens is when the current hits the wing dite, the very tip of it will, uh, the current will go around and dig out a deep hole at the bottom of the wing dite. And in that deep hole the catfish will hang out away from the current and that's where you can catch a lot of fish. Thanks for watching. A quick diagram that I drew up that kind of summarizes what I was just talking about but it uh, also has a couple other places to look for when trying to locate catfish on big river systems. So one place you want to look for also is uh, outside bends, because a lot of times as the water whips around those outside bends, it digs out deep holes in the outside bend, and the fish like to hang out there as they can stay out of the current in those deep holes. Another place to look for is the shallow, calmer, flat areas between the wing dites, because at night, when the fish come out of those scour holes and deeper holes in the outside bends, a lot of times they'll go to these shallow, flat areas between the wing dikes to forage for fish. So there's a couple more tips on where to, what to look out for when fishing the river for big catfish. Thanks for watching.